Hey guys, welcome back in video Bangla YT and in this video I'll show you that how you can simply make PUBG style AI jumping or spawning okay basically uh, you know that in PUBG there come a plane and then the plane uh, spawn some characters AI yeah, they start the AI is coming ground and they will start the fighting so how you can do let me show you first how I after then doing how it's work that here as you can see the plane is coming now there's a dropping with parachute the AI is coming right now as you can see there's a one more AI and there's a every after three to five seconds the one AI will become and after the AI coming and landing ground it will be start the searching us or trying to find some random location and go there and you know basically try to find some enemy okay so he can kill okay so i can make this stuff so first of all let me show you so first of all i get some assets from you know uh internet that a plane model then i create a blueprint class and at the blueprint class it is a simple a act or nothing else at the blueprint i simply add the plane as you can see the plane didn't have anything only just a plane body nothing else so one is done i add three arrows okay as you can see one is for right side one is for left sides and one is for back okay like this this location so what happened that when our plane will be go from you know from this like when he go like this uh, location he'll be spawn the AIs okay he'll be spawn the AIs so for spawning the AIs we need to set some location that from which position our AI should be spawned so from these three location our AI should be spawned okay so when is done we also need to create the plane that he can fly okay he can fly he can like do he didn't come in ground he should be fly okay so how I make this basically very simple first of all I add a projectile okay the project and movement the project and movement help you to uh, you know just make something movable uh, actor or something any of his stuff so I add a project and movement then I set the speed to 500 to 500 and then I set the pro uh, projected gravity scale to zero it means there's no gravity for my this actor okay the actor can go anywhere without zero gravity and the speed is 500 by 500 okay also I do you don't need to set anything else the largest maximum location or the location okay so one is done what I do I just go at the event graph at the event graph I just add a event begin play and set a timer by event and I set the randomly time the 3 to 3.6 milliseconds and create a custom event okay so what this stuff do it will be every after 3 to 3.6 milliseconds it will be spawn a AI okay and also after then 16 point uh, 60.0 milliseconds it will be cleared uh, uh, this event or our function so it will be don't spawn more AIs just think that your plane is here right now and he just complete this whole map and he is still spawning the AIs why he, he don't need to spawn the AIs in the sky or the in the water he should be only spawn the AIs in our world so for doing this stuff I just set the time line that how much time sh he should be uh, you know the play the AI yeah, also for uh, you know just save my some RAM or you know just make some smooth game after then doing his work he should be destroyed so I added destroy blocks okay so one is done I get the three arrows okay I just drag like this and get the three arrows and get the world transformation world transformation and world transformation then from at here I search that random okay how we find just search that random and you find the random uh, transformations just get them the transformations and by make a area so then from this stuff just search that make area and just add a pin top three pin top uh, so you need zero one two because we are only spawning the three that's why so here's the one two and the three locations and then I get the randomly of anyone that in one time it will be play uh, spawn the AIs from sometime it will be spawn the AIs from right side sometimes spawn the from left side sometime from the back sides okay and then I just set the location at here so basically also you need to remember that if you create a AI that who will be work automatically not manually like you create a function that your AI will be move randomly location okay or AI behavior trees so you need to spawn 
AI, not a spawn character. Okay, uh, the difference between the AI and the, sp uh, the character is basically the character uh, once uh, he will be controlled by you or he will be uh, stay okay, just like this, stay stable. So but Dawari AI not uh, will be stay stable he will be go some random places he will be uh, search some enemies and do some lots of work so for doing this stuff uh, you need to search that spawn AI from class just like that that spawn AI from class okay then you need to set your prawn class and make sure if you add your behavior trees so you can add the your behavior trees at here but in my case I didn't use any behavior trees I directly code in event graph so I didn't add any of behavior trees so one is done now your plane is ready to set up the you know the AIs okay so also at the AIs I add a uh, something that okay at here that when my plane uh, so make sure also there's a, I set a true kind of like program okay if you and you can spawn a AI from your plane directly but I wonder when my uh, AI come he'll be first he have it parachute and he will become in ground then he'll be start the AI functions so for doing this stuff I create a one more blueprint the blueprint only have a simple stuff that a simple character mesh with my third person uh, TTP animation uh, BP okay just I can I just I just make this animation for uh, you know just aiming or stay stable or when you are in air he'll be just you know do the falling animations and also I add a parachute mesh at here in my BP and also add a arrow okay so what is doing that uh, first time when our player up uh, plane will be grow from this the, from the uh, sky he'll be spawn this the new blueprint to that who have the parachute and a simple guy okay with a arrow okay but he is not the, our exact AI he's not our real AI okay our real AI is the name is AI enemy okay so how I do spawn this stuff so he will be a spawn a AI okay but one is done also I add in new blueprint that uh, at here as you can see he's our new blueprint and I also want that my uh, this character uh, will be just behave like a parachute that after the jumping he will be go some forward and then he will be drop in ground okay like this that when he just spawn from the plane he will be go, go like this some um, straight straight and then will be coming ground okay so for doing this stuff I simply add a one more project in my new blueprint class and I set this speed that 1000 by 1000 and one is done also I just reduct the gravity scale to 0.1 only so one is done I come in event graph and add a event tick that daily after 3.0 milliseconds okay uh, he checked that are he's falling or not if he's falling okay okay just uh, think that uh, so we also taking that variable that if he's falling so I setting the value I set the value in my this boolean data and just said that do once that I spawn AI from class then now he will be spawn our AI again okay like this he will be spawn our this AI dot enemy and I just set that here without no any behavior trees then he will be destroy himself so we don't need that character anymore okay so I know that it's um very difficult to understand like first time he will be spawn the uh, this our this blueprint the blueprint will be spawn a AI so so when our uh, AI will be know that our this blueprint know that we are in land and now we can you know just uh, spawn the this our AI. So for doing this, I already add a time. You may be notice that I add a time at here that delay after even tick that 3.07 delay. If it's falling, as you can see, I verified it. If it's not falling, if it's true, it's meant that he is in now air so he can't be now he's not in ground he's in air so he, sh he should be play the air animation by default and then if he is not falling it means that he have now in ground so if he's ground i exactly that time i get that he should be spawning at our ai and destroy himself okay as a result what happened that if i show you like this that without our plane that just see this character that when he's just a uh, coming ground as you can see after then 3.5 uh, seconds 
milliseconds so he'll be spawn our character our ai and he'll be start is doing work like picking a randomly location go somewhere okay and find some enemy so i just hope you like my video so if you have any question you can comment in my comment box i must try to give you a reply so thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye and yeah bye bye